Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Gemini. And the reading that I'm going to be doing is, will you get back with your ex, Gemini? So how did you and your personal relationship used to be before the breakup? Well, I feel like you and your person um, could have been an earth sign or air sign um, that you were dealing with. But I feel like you and your person um, shared with each other. Um, you were willing to give to each other. Um, I feel like one of you did like your freedom quite a bit. But I do feel that there was love there and that you did care about each other and that you did pour into each other. What led to, why did you and your person decide to separate, Gemini? Well, well, I feel like, like I mentioned earlier, I think one of you even though you cared about the, your person or your person cared about you, I do think that one of you really value having the freedom to roam, to do as you please. I think that could have been some of the cunt, cunt that could have been some of the reason why y'all relationship why y'all decided to separate. Um, also, maybe one of you was working on a goal that took up a lot of your time and your person felt like, felt abandoned, like you really wasn't there in the relationship with them. I'm not sure if it was you, Gemini, or, or if it was your person, but one of you sort of felt like um, the other person wasn't really dear in the relationship. They didn't really have enough time to focus on building the relationship and keeping it strong. Now, what was the most important thing that you have learned from from this relationship, um, Gemini, I feel like you have learned to stand your ground for what you believe in and what you want to create for yourself. Um, and I feel like whatever you're working on, um, so it looks like you probably was the one that um, liked it you know, like to have in your freedom, Gemini. But whatever you're working on, it looks like it's going to um, work out for you. And it's going to be, it's going to be, you're going to get a lot of recognition and, um, and you're going to get success for whatever it is that you're working on um, at this time, Gemini. What's, what's going on with you and your person right now, Gemini? Do y'all talk or is there no communication at all? Um, I feel like it's possible that at this time that you and your person is not 
communicating um i think that i think that both of you could be seeking clarity um trying to figure out where you want to go um with this relationship and you're working on making a decision if you want to stay in the relationship or or do you want to go back to the relationship or do you want to continue to um continue to be a part In order for y'all, you and your person to get back together, Gemini, first of all, you got to decide if you want to get back with the person or not. And then, if you decide that you want to get back with this person, um, you got to learn to be more patient. And um, be more be be a little bit more kind and understanding towards your person um and i understand that you got goals and you got things that you want to work on but you you need to carve out special time for your person also if you um hope to reconcile with with your person and for it to be a a fruitful a fruitful relationship between the both of you what more could you work on to help you and your person to get back together So I feel like you, there's things in your past that you need to um, probably work on. Things you need to work on healing in yourself from past relationships. Um, you could have had, you could have felt like you were um, abandoned in in, in some of your previous relationships or um, the person that you were involved in your previous relationship wasn't there for you and um, and you could be want to make sure that that don't happen in your current relationship I feel like you're gonna need to play things by ear um, because just because people in the past might have not been there and kind of string you along to a certain extent, you got to work on that mindset and realize that, you know, you have to give each person a fair chance. Don't, don't be a pushover. Don't let people just walk all over you. But, um... But you need to stand your ground for what you believe in. But you also need to make time for that, that special someone in your life if you want them to be in your life. Um, I think you should um, still work on building up your, um, your finances and things of that nature. But... You have to be willing to give the person you're currently or you that you were in a relationship. You got to be willing to give them a chance. And if you see any red flags, then maybe pull away at that point. But you got to give them a chance. And you have to realize that they're not going to necessarily do what people in your past have done to you I feel like you have to
you have to quit feeling like You always got to compete with your person and that you got to always make sure that you get the upper hand in everything. And, um, and you have to start working on being, being a team, a team, working on being a team, um, working on things together with your person. And not feel like it's just a solo thing. It's just you and the other person really doesn't matter. You need to work on that kind of attitude. I think that will help you to have more success in being with um, the person that you're separated from at this time. The things I feel that your person needs to work on is that they need to work on being more independent and work on their finances also and um and also realize that change is a part of life and that sometimes change can be scary and difficult but they got to be willing to willing to take a chance willing to work on maybe doing things in a different way, um, not be so stuck in their ways and um, afraid for there to be any kind of change in the relationship. Um, and if they see a change or see, see you maybe doing different things, don't feel like that is the end of the relationship because you're just not doing the same old, same old every day. You like you like variety, and you like for things to switch up sometimes. And they gotta be willing to be more flexible, and work on work on self empowerment for themselves. You know, y'all can work on self empowerment and then do things together as a as a couple. And as far as do I see you and this person um, getting um, getting back together, and I would say that it's a possibility for you and this person to get back together. Um, I think your person needs to um, be, like I said, need to be more flexible and not hold on so tightly that you feel smothered. And um, I feel like you have to be willing to, when problems come up, don't run away. Um, talk to each other about it and see if there's a way to um, come to an agreement about how to handle different things and situations that might come up and um you know and maybe speak to someone outside of the relationship who um you can you can trust um and that you can seek um advice from that can help you along you know it could be like a minister or, you know, someone that you feel like you can trust. And you can talk to them about things and they um, can have a neutral attitude towards the situation. And I feel like it's a chance that you and this person could come back together and can make it work if you're willing to make a few cha changes in your attitude, in your approach. Um to one another.